There's a compelling case to be made for getting an e-reader instead of collecting physical books. It might be anything such as a lack of room, better for your budget, or the desire for lighter travel. E-readers are small, thin, lightweight, and can hold hundreds of electronic books. E-readers have an advantage over tablets for their exceptional battery life and the e-ink screen technology with a matte finish screen, which is really easy on the eyes. Here at Top 5 Area, we deliver you trusted advice for functionality, durability, and price. We've got you covered with our roundup of the five best e-readers to suit you. We've helped you out and added links to the bio. Best e-reader, Kindle Oasis. If you were to ask me which is the best e-reader on the market, it is hands down the Kindle Oasis. It's got aesthetics, functionality, and all the little things that makes e-reading sweet in life. The Kindle Oasis has a high quality and large 7-inch display with e-ink technology that makes words on the page crisp and clear. The Oasis tackles the well-known problem of the awkward, unbalanced feeling of an e-book in your hands. Oasis has solved this with the unique hand grip to shift the sensor of gravity towards your hands for a nice, rested and comfortable position. For something with that powerful functionality, you'd expect it to be ugly, but surprisingly, it's incredible thin, light, aesthetic and simulates the spine of a paperback book. As a result, your hand will be comfortably resting while you're enjoying your book. Even several hours of reading will not tire you out. For the elite Kindle Oasis, you'd be nicely protected no matter where you bring the e-reader, whether it's in your warm bubbly bathtub or sun baking by the pool. The waterproof Oasis ensures no matter where you take it, it will come back in good condition. The auto-rotate screen allows you to flip the device and have the page turn button suited for you. Oasis is the brightest and most evenly lit of all the Kindles. It has 25 built-in LEDs, upholding Kindle's signature front light feature. The lights shine onto the paper instead of your eyes. The all-new Kindle Oasis also comes with auto-adjusting light sensors, an adjustable warm light, which can be scheduled at 9 o'clock at night. Something that you wouldn't expect from an e-reader is listening to audiobooks. The Kindle Oasis lets you access audiobooks from the Amazon Audible, giving you incredible flexibility with your multifunctional e-reader via Bluetooth. The Kindle Oasis has a long-lasting battery of up to 40 hours per charge when doing everything possible to maximise battery life. There's also plenty of storage space on board, with 8GB being the starting point, but you can get a 32GB version of the Oasis if you're planning for a large digital library. The base model comes with Wi-Fi enabled, but there is an LTE option as well, which allows you to download ebooks from the Kindle store no matter where you are. There is ongoing whisper sync support, so you can stop reading on your Oasis and pick up reading where you left off on the Kindle app or any other Kindle device. This will require your devices to be on the same Wi-Fi network. To sum it up, the Oasis is one of the best e-readers available on the market. It has all of the Kindle's traditional best features, a lightweight device made thoroughly for reading, an eye-friendly glare-free screen, and a space for thousands upon thousands of books. It's the e-reader that comes with all the bells and whistles if the premium price isn't a concern for you. Best runner up, Kobo Libra H2O. If you want all the features that come with premium e-readers without paying that premium price tag, the Kobo Libra H2O is a very happy medium. Those features include waterproofing, a 7-inch screen, adjustable warm light, and the same weeks-long battery life and Wi-Fi connectivity that you'll find in all modern e-readers. The Kobo Libra H2O will not disappoint if you enjoy large, gorgeous displays. It's larger than the luxury range Kobos and Kindles at 7 inches, the same size as the top-of-the-line Kindle Oasis. The Libra has 300 PPI screen resolution, so it's incredibly sharp and clear whether you're reading tiny text or looking at complicated diagrams. The backlit brightness can be turned off completely for easy, glare-free reading in bright daylight or set anywhere between 1 and 100%. Like the premium features on Oasis, the Libra has the convenient ability to switch orientation. The Libra H2O uses the same hard plastic and soft rubberized backing found on Kobo's higher-end e-reader, the former. It is super comfortable to hold, and the dotted pattern on the back is grippy enough that it won't feel like it's about to slip through your hands. 
But even if it does and this bad boy lands in the bathtub or pool, its IPX8 waterproof rating will keep it working like a dream. The strongest suit that may trump your decision over the Oasis is the luxury of choice in file format compatibility. While Kindle users are pretty much forced to shop through the Kindle store or sign up to Kindle Unlimited, Kobo owners get the luxury of choice. Kobo has its own store and it's a good one, but it's not your only option. Because Kobo supports some more ubiquitous EPUB file formats, as opposed to Kindle's preference for AZW and MOBI, you can buy ebooks through a variety of online retailers that sell Adobe DRM protected ebooks. You can even borrow books from your local library, as these are generally also Adobe DRM protected. There is no beating the all round killer value that Libra H2O offers. Despite its premium features, it could still be reasonably called mid range because of the price. Best for students and academics Onyx Book No Air. The Onyx Air are designed for creatives and professionals who prefer a device that is focused on productivity. You can draw free handed, take notes, and edit PDF files and ebooks. There are a few distractions with these kinds of gadgets, so you won't be flooded with notifications and phone calls. Android gives you a lot of options for sending your modified PDF files or notes to the cloud storage solution of your choice, or you can just send them via email. The Onyx Book Note Air has a gorgeous premium build with a 10.3 inch e-ink Cartier HD display with a pixel density of 227 ppi. The screen is built with glass and sits flat against the bezels. The black and blue brushed aluminium finish with an orange racing stripe on the side and the onyx emblem in the same color. The speaker, power button and USB-C connector are located on the side. The Note Air is powered by a Quadcom Snapdragon 636 CPU. 3 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. It includes Bluetooth 5.0, which allows you to connect wireless peripherals like headphones or speaker to listen to audiobooks, music, or podcasts. The USB C connection, which supports OTG, may be used to charge and transfer data. A gyroscope is also included to automatically change the page orientation. The Onyx Book Note Air really facilitates comfortable reading. This 10.3 inch e-note, like many others on the market, has a front lit display with both white and amber LED lighting. This technology is designed to allow you to read at night or in low light situations by adjusting the illuminosity through a software based slider bar. Onyx's most important apps of course are the reading apps. I'm happy to say the tablet runs Kindle, Kobo, Libby, Nook and several comic readers and its own PDF reader. Web browsers and Microsoft Office apps also performs very well. It has a comfortable pen with a magnetic attachment, which is important if you need to jot down some notes. Apply gentle pressure for a thin sketch and greater pressure for thicker lines. And there you go, your own handwriting and drawings on the book. This feature makes the e-reader feel like a real textbook. Overall, with its incredible screen size and its powerful ability to take notes and leave handwritten remarks, the Onyx Book Air is currently the best premium feeling e-reader available for people who read a lot of technical and scientific books, especially those in PDF. Best value for money, Kobo Nia. The entry-level Kobo Nia is a cute, compact way to read library books and EPUB files. If you're looking for the best value, you've got it right here in the Kobo Nia. Incredible and affordable price with adequate 8GB memory, putting it on par with the rest of the current Kobo ebook readers. The Nia 6 inch display has a resolution of 212 ppi, opposed to the Amazon Kindle's 167 ppi, making it a sharp quality display. The Nia is comfortable to hold in one hand for many hours of relaxed, suspense filled reading. Kind of ironic, isn't it? The Nia, like all other Kobo e readers, comes with overdrive functionality in many countries, making borrowing ebooks from a public library a breeze. The Kobo Nia supports more file types than Amazon e readers and allows you to load other fonts such as Amazon's own Bookily or Ember. Whether you want to read comics or look at images or read text files, you'll be able to view them all. Kobo has claimed you'll get weeks of reading from single charge, depending on how you use it, from the 1000 mAh battery of the Nia. 
It is difficult to say how long a single charge will last because it depends on how you read every day, the brightness on your screen, and how much time you spend exploring the Kobo store on your device. If you read for a couple of hours every day with Wi-Fi enabled at all times, you should be able to obtain up to four weeks of usage per full charge. The Kobo Nia is simple all-round achiever e-reader aimed at those who want the best value. In all, Kobo's new Nia is a very compelling alternative to the Kindle, particularly for anyone who's a keen reader on a budget, wanting a user-friendly software, and not keen on getting locked into the Amazon's ecosystem. Best under 150. Amazon Kindle. I've got the best e-reader for you if you're looking to spend under 150. The Amazon Kindle delivers the essentials to make sure you're happily reading your books. The Amazon Kindle can sustain itself with a two-week battery life. If you're out vacationing for a week, the last thing you would have to worry about is scrambling for your charger. The Amazon Kindle supports audiobooks. It is incredibly useful to be able to listen to your audiobook through Bluetooth headphones if you choose to. The Amazon Kindle is backlit with four LEDs, meaning adjustable brightness, which is certainly something not paperback books can do. It starts at a great price at $139. If you read about 10 books with a Kindle instead of purchasing the paper form, you've already made your money back. The Kindle integrates with Goodreads and has a dictionary, Wikipedia and X-ray search, and has a wide range of font sizes and styles. If the bells and whistles don't mean much to you, Amazon's Kindle may be your best bet. Ultimately, you'll be picking your e-reader based on what you want to get your books from. If you're comfortable with Amazon's ecosystem, Kindles are the way to go, and they are by far the most popular e-readers on the market. If you're looking to expand your options, choose the Kobo Nia. If you're looking for the best e-reader experience, you'd definitely be considering the Kindle Oasis. If you're looking for higher end but want to spend a more reasonable price, the Kobo Libra H2O is for you. The Onyx Book Note Air is suitable if you're a student or an avid reader. Kobo Nia is the best for your budget. If you're looking for a casual e-reader under 150, the Amazon Kindle will still blow you away. Subscribe to Top 5 Area to keep up to date on videos to help you research the newest devices. We'll see you next time.